Hello, we are Airport Drive in Tallahassee. Woo! My name's Austin. <laughs> this is off to a great start. <laughs> is mayonnaise an instrument? So, my name is Dawson Corey. I play guitar and I sing. I play guitar and I sing. Dorian John Paul, I play drums. Austin Dunn, I play bass. We got bored one day around Halloween. These guys told me, yo, you want to start a band? I'm like, all right, and then this guy. Yeah, I, I was there at the Halloween party, and like, it wasn't really airport drive yet. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it the wasn't. idea started last yeah. time. It was but the we weren't origin. airport until like April yeah. next year. And they asked me to join year. as a third guitarist, but I was like, no, I'm sure this. Us three went to the same high school. I didn't really like meet them and be friends with them until we moved up to Tallahassee, though. Um, Austin yeah. we found because he jumped our back fence. Yeah. And he heard us uh, practicing one day and he's like, yo, y'all need a, another guy to play? And we're like, yeah, show up. Well, a uh, little flashback. I was seven years old. I watched Naked Brothers Band and I was like, I want to be like that. Um, and then I kind of forgot about that idea for a minute. And then seventh grade year comes around and I'm in band. I can't get out of it. I can't go to PE. <laughs> I'm like, like, what am I going to do now? So I ended up playing the bassoon. I was a classical music nerd for like a like a hot minute. Senior year comes along, I'm just like fucking around, not knowing what to do. And then my band teacher's like, "Hey, you should uh, audition to the FSU College of Music." For me, it was just uh, I have memories of like listening to music with my dad. The one memory in particular I have is being in like a corn. I don't know if it was a cornfield, but it was like a, a like a field. And my dad used to take me to go shoot like miniature rockets. One time he was meeting a bunch of people to do that. And I was in the car like waiting for like probably like 45 minutes. And I had an iPod with a bunch of songs and Bohemian Rhapsody was one of them. And so I just listened to it in the car like a bunch of times. Then <laughs> one day like I was doing a business assignment that asked like your personal goals or like for, for the semester, for the year. And I just realized like, I gotta start a band with people. And I literally wrote these freaking people's names. I remember seeing those goals. Yeah. yeah, I wrote that in a business assignment. And I was like, I'm gonna start a band with Austin Din, Dorian John Polk, and Gonzalo Davis. And now we're doing it. Yeah, he and did that before I even like agreed to it. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> yeah. I just, I think it's funny that the story's always messed up. <laughs> so I played classical piano did not like it. Then, um, and then I started producing and started making beats. I, I like the first music I ever made was like a Lil Uzi type beat. Then I picked up guitar. I had a band that was called Continental Shit. We were dog shit. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, the fr we had one show only. Like we brought out like a hundred people somehow. And then by the end of our set, twenty people were there. Nice. That's how bad we were. Yeah. I, I, like I never even picked up a bass like really before joining. Uh, airport drive. It's the best scene to be in. Yeah, that's a, that's a question to us still. Like, we uh, don't really know. Like, so, I don't know. It hasn't quite set in that we're like uh, a part of this yet, honestly. Yeah, yeah imposter really. syndrome is kicking in hard. <laughs> I don't even play an instrument in my, in my head. No, this he always says like, I'm not a musician. Like, oh, he's the only yeah, one. We, we, need, you, like, we I, need you to hype him up. Like, no, so no, 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 uh, he has a, so. a certificate by academia that certifies him as a musician. <laughs> like, what the, like, what are you talking about? Bro? You got a point. I just hit things. <laughs> like, a month and a half ago, like, nobody knew us. So, honestly. Yeah, we had one house show. Over like, summer, that's how it started. At Bird House, and then somehow Cow House found us. The godfather, like, setting up, like, music shows here. Yeah, he's, he's really good at, at getting together, like, small bands to get them all to play at, like, 926 or something. Yeah. So that got us our first, like, kickstart and we've just been keeping the momentum going ever yeah, since. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, oh, a, a lot of it's no, pretty it's question, pretty yeah. lovey right now, yeah. not gonna lie. Yeah. Pretty lovey dope. Um, we're, we're, we definitely love playing. It's, it brings out the best of us. We play better when we can share it with other people. In terms of like <laughs> lyrics and stuff, like we've ended up a little bit more punk than I think we anticipated. Like, there's some elements to some of our songs that people may describe as that. I, I know for him, it's been mostly love. Um, for me, it's been, um, it's been like, I don't know, just, I've, I've written a lot of songs, so like, I guess the emotions, it honestly can range from grieving over 
like a family member to just rejoicing and like a really wonderful day. A couple of originals that we're going to play tonight, um, I wrote and they kind of revolve around that teenage angst, you know, helpless romantic idea, like, you know, you fall in love, but then you get your heart broken, or you meet someone, you glorify them in your head, in your head they look like an angel, in reality you realize that you're just tripping and super biased, and then, you know, it's just... Your imagination is taking over and you're not accepting the facet of reality. So, another thing is learning how to let go. Acceptance, Buddhism. Once you know that you have pain coming towards you, then, and you accept that, you're not going to suffer as much because suffering has a negative connotation, but it's a feeling like crying. You know, it's shown up in society, you know, if a man cries, it's like, oh, he's weak. But no, everyone cries. It's, it's like laughing, it's tantamount to that, but the complete different side of the spectrum, and that's fine. But embracing all these little obstacles and just kind of making it more dramatic and childish just to keep the youth up, the morale, you know, keeps it exciting. After all, it's all about a chase and the scene, so. And then sidestepping the lyrics real quick, just cause like I'm behind the kid, I don't sing, but like that emotion I'm going for at the show, it's that chemistry in the air of everybody just vibing and having a good time. Like, I'll be looking out on the audience when we play, and it's, it's just amazing to see all these people in the same spot having a great time. It's yeah. the best feeling ever. That's the feeling I'm trying to invoke. We, we, we make a good show. <laughs> <laughs> I think each one of us is like a different like emotion. That's confidence, this guy's <laughs> happiness, this guy's conscientiousness, if that's even an emotion. I guess I'm the one who likes to cry a little bit, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, keep, keep an eye out for some tracks that we're going to drop soon. Probably some singles. We haven't recorded the single thing yet. Not yet, <laughs> but, but like, soon. We haven't even like opened the computer. Alright, so uh, <laughs> yeah. we can't be giving away all of our secrets. Most immediately we have a demo tape coming out soon, so that'll be like on SoundCloud or yeah, Bandcamp, just for people to like actually like hear some content, but um, yeah, that's what's most immediate. Yes. All right. Thank you guys. Awesome. Thank you guys.